Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thank you so much for joining in today. Today we'll be looking at uh, one of the most common use cases in enterprises, which is essentially to read an incoming email and deduce tasks from it and then, you know, execute or basically do or apply business logic on top of the tasks, essentially. Uh, so in this case, uh, we'll be reading an email from Gmail and then extracting or parsing content from that and then uh, Extracting, extracting tasks and pushing those tasks to Asana, which is a pro free project management tool, and also uh, creating a record in the database by obviously creating certain, uh, extracting certain entities that we need, right? All right, so we have three agents here. Uh, one is uh, the email parse and triage agent. The email parse and triage agent is essentially an agent that parses the information and extracts certain entities that we need for, the in for Asana. The Asana ops agent is basically uh, an agent that creates the payload for Asana. Uh, because uh, the, it has, uh, it is calling the uh, ops tool, the Asana ops tool, and uh, is, it, it creates a task using those uh, that API or the tool uh, in in Asana, right? And the last uh, operation or the last agent is essentially the DB ops agent. Again, uh, this agent takes the information that you know the Asana ops agent as well as the email parse and triage agent have written, and uh, you know, uses that information to create a record in the database. Essentially, it uh, creates the values for the columns of the, of the database. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So this is how Asana looks like. I'm in a lead generation project and everything is uh, for demo here. This, these are demo values. Uh, my goal is that the agent is able to create a record here uh, and it is able to create a task uh, by extracting the information from this particular email. I wanted to extract information on uh, what is the actually crux of the this particular uh, email and create a relevant title uh, to follow for, for information here, right? So I'm gonna mark this as unread and quickly show you uh, the agents and the prompt. Uh, so the agent, uh, the uh, crew A agent has three attributes. But it has several attributes. The important ones are role, goal, and backstory. Uh, I'll do a deep dive of each and every attribute in the following video. Uh, but in today's video, uh, you know, you can quickly see that, uh, you know, we've written simple information on what the role of this particular uh, agent, each agent should be. And uh, if you look at the task.yml, which is basically part of uh, the config of Crew AI, uh, you'll see that uh, the tasks have certain attributes, description, expected output, and the agent that particular task needs to call. So, or this particular task belongs to essentially. Uh, so in this, uh, for the the for, for the first uh, agent, that is the parse and triage, triage uh, task or the email parse and triage agent, this is a task. And the goal is that it uh, returns these, uh, these output. What is the category of the email, whether it's a lead support inquiry, uh, what is the recommended action, uh, the content of the email, the sender uh, name and email, right? Similarly, Asana task creation is that it is able to uh, read that information and able to essentially create a task and return the Asana link here. Uh, and the last is basically the DB storage task, which essentially takes this information from here and here and creates a record, okay? All this uh, orchestration is is something that the agents are doing. Now imagine uh, there were several categories that you had to create. You could easily introduce another agent or give this or mention all of those categories here, and then uh, you know uh, the parse and triage task is able to essentially you know assign the relevant category uh, by reading that email. All right. So let's quickly run this particular solution now. So let's run the solution now, python.main.py. Uh, I've seen this that uh, Crew AI essentially takes at least 30 to 40 seconds to get started. All right, uh, it is reading the email now. It has read the first email. Uh, it was able to parse it and it was able to actually extract information from that as well. And uh, as you can see, it is called uh, the tool uh, to essentially push that information to Asana and it was able to in fact, push that information to Asana. Uh, now, right now it is on the DB tool and it was actually, it has, uh, you know, it was able to insert the data successfully. And obviously uh, I've written a break statement after the first run. 
uh, to walk you guys through the code. Otherwise, it would basically pick up another email and run with there. Okay. So let us quickly look at the logs. Uh, as you can see, it right in the beginning, it was able to quickly read that email, and the email looks something like this. Uh, partnership opportunity with innovative solutions and body is this let me quickly show you the email here this is the email partnership opportunity with innovative solutions inc all right uh, i'm just printing uh, the agents uh, the, the role of that agent uh, the description of the agent are all basically all the attributes of the agent as you can see uh, so the agent has started uh, working uh, this that is the skilled email parser and triad specialist and it is essentially uh, parsing the input email. The input email is basically what we just read from the Gmail account. And uh, that becomes the input. Now it has come up with this answer, as you can see, brilliant. Category of the email is it's a lead email. A recommended action is create an Ashana task. Uh, additional notes, this inquiry relates to a potential partnership opportunity with innovative solutions. Uh, email content, the entire email content is you know captured. Sender email is sahirudin.tawarkiri at gmail.com. Sender name is sahirudin tawarkiri. I've just, you know, randomly created uh, these attributes. You can obviously, be depending, depending on your business use case, you can create anything. The next is, uh, what it has done is, it is it has basically passed it to the Asana agent, uh, or the Asana ops agent, task management project coordinator, uh, based on the email category and recommended action provided by the email par center triage agent. Uh, this is basically uh, the task that you know we we have called it out in the YAML file, and it was able to create a payload for that particular API, uh, as you can see, and it was able to uh, essentially hit that particular API using the Asana Ops tool uh, that we have obviously uh, added as part of the task and as part of the tooling uh, for that particular agent, and it has received the output from the tool. Uh, sorry, output from the uh, API and this the agent has uh, basically uh, written the output and the output is basically the response from the Asana API and as you can see, it has created a record there. Uh, the next is the task management and project coordinator, which is basically uh, Asana's final answer here. Uh, Asana's that is the Asana Ops agent's final answer here. Asana's we the uh, the output that we were expecting. Uh, where these attributes that we actually go uh, to the sorry the task and show you what are the output so the output we were expecting was asana task title task description assignee priority level due date and asana task link and that's exactly what we get title description uh, assignee priority level due date and asana task like li uh, the link of the asana task right uh, so the database operations and record specialist, that is the database ops agent uh, starts working. And as you can see, it, it uh, the first time it was still not able to compose uh, the payload and uh, it, it failed, but it still, you know, starts creating or composing the payload and it has tried the second time. I think it was still not able to compose the relevant payload. Though I see that it was able to do that here, the input seems very relevant. Let me show you how the tool input looks like. Uh, the DB ops tool. This is what I was expecting, uh, the DB operations tool. And this is what I was, uh, this is the kind of input I was expecting here, which is basically a dictionary. And the dictionary has sender name, contact details, email content, category, and all the fields has uh, the input essentially. Uh, but it was able to do that in, I'm sorry, but it was able to do that. All right, but it was still able to do that in the third attempt. And this is the beauty of an agent because agent can elegantly, uh, you know, uh, attempt, uh, or basically retry elegantly. Uh, so it is important that you have all, uh, uh, you know, all the safeguards that you can. All right, as you can see, it was able to uh, generate or create the payload, the correct payload, uh, the right payload uh, in the third attempt. And it was able to write the data into the database here. I am basically showing you that all the records that I have printed so far, and as you can see, uh, 
the database has the latest record, which is 120873 and 120873 is the latest record. That is record number four uh, in the database. I'm using SQLite for this particular demo. And in the final output, it is saying that it was able to insert data successfully and uh, all, I'm sorry, all the entries uh, from the database operation record result, that is the database operation agents, all the entries are, are shown here. All right, so one thing I probably miss showing you is uh, the the task that was created in Asana and this is how the tasks uh, looks, looks like. So explore partnership with Innovative Solutions Inc. Uh, the inquiry relates to a potential partnership opportunity with Innovative Solutions Inc. and further discussion. So this is basically the task that was, uh, you know, created uh, by the tool or the API. And since obviously uh, the API is using my credentials, my name you can see that it was created by me all right in the next video i'll be actually writing the entire solution from scratch line by line and then we'll we'll understand how this uh, all these components of the solution you know came about and also understand you know how we were able to integrate uh, both internally and externally and most importantly how we were able to orchestrate the entire solution all right so uh, stay tuned for the next one thank you